Welcome to your daily illumination. This is the Peace Dealer, and this video is for October 28th, 2016. And of course, to my lovely friends overseas, this applies to the 29th, as you are right now. And the card that we have for today is death. Yes, something on this day is dying. You better say goodbye to it or them because you will never see it or them again in this form. You see, this is a card of metamorphosis. Some of you are going to transform. Some of you have awakened already. All right. But it's not enough that your energy just awakens. Your energy must now transform. You have awakened from a caterpillar and became a chrysalis and now it's time for this larvae and uh chrysalis form to become the butterfly a lot of you are going to be tapping into your real power you're going to feel that you actually transform and this is going to come with a part of you that is finally dead and <laughs> you're not the one who's going to do the killing that's i think the most important thing to understand um, some people, it, it, they have to let go of things as we'll talk about soon, but you might, you might've been under the mistake that you're the one that has to kill it, or you're the one that has to let it go, especially if you've been trying to, and you can't No, you just have to be willing to accept when it's finally gone so that once it's gone, you don't run back after it. Most important part, but the most important message of today is some of you are ready to transform. To, to harness greater power and energy and you're going to definitely do that um at a simpler level it's time for some of you to literally like see something end forever and when it comes to love we have the devil card so um there there are some addictions that you have to people that you know I can tell you that you're supposed to let go, but even if you know that, it's not going to stop you from it. That's what makes it an addiction. You see these chains. Some of you have soulmates or connections that you have been bound to energetically. Some of you have karmic bonds with people who you don't even like. <laughs> or they don't even like you, but you're karmically bound either from a past life or either from an energetic attachment you have attachment that you have made to them in this life. The possibilities are literally literally endless. Um uh, the possibilities are literally endless. So um, I'm not going to tell you to release them. Trust me, you're going to be in a, there. There's some attachments you have to people that you feel will never go. Some of you are like trying your hardest to let go, but the, you're just reminded. Nope, this is a real bond. Trust me, the time will come when you're not really bound to them anymore. And the, the real issue is, you know, are you going to walk forward in freedom? or still live in bondage, all right? Uh, on the flip side, some of you are about to have the best sex you've ever had. Like, the, the devil card for love could just mean, like, total erotic, like, you are just getting effed tonight, like, and, and it's just going to be great. But let's just be real. Um, there's multiple attachments you have with not just one person, and this needs to be addressed, and this has the potential to transform and be killed with your willingness to actually, you know, shed parts of yourself that no longer align with who you're becoming which has everything to do with the karmic card the sub card of karma justice so you know justice will be served on this day my friends if you are on the wrong side of justice it is okay you have a decision to make are you going to align yourself with what you know is right because this sort of justice is what's going to cut through these bonds it's what's going to slash you and, and help transform you. All right. We, we, we had nothing but major arcana cards today. So this is going to be a life changing day, a very powerful day. Of course, it's the dark moon before the new moon. So, you know, in a in a weekend where we're going to have more possessions and exorcisms and just spiritual encounters than most people have had in a lifetime, you have some serious decision making to do. Are you going 
to allow yourself to succumb to temptation or are you going to walk the side of your light even though it's not easy but will you walk the right side of your karma and and emerge victorious no matter how dark it seems the decision is yours my friend i hope you choose right and until tomorrow peace